everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i have four spring diys for you so let's go ahead and jump on in so i wanted to go over to michael's and see what they had i wanted to do a little bit of branching out from the dollar tree and try going to other craft stores to see what kind of deals i can find and i found some pretty awesome deals so this first one is these little crates that you can get from michael's i found them on 50 percent off so they were 50 cents each and these are pretty much the same crates that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I believe that they're about the same size so I'm gonna grab two of those baskets and here are the measurements and I want to say they are about the same size as those Dollar Tree ones now I'm gonna take a couple pieces of scrap wood that I had out in my garage I just measured how tall that I wanted this piece to be and then I cut two angles on the top of those so that they would be flush with the baskets when I attach them together and then I also took another scrap piece to be my bottom so that my piece would stand up. Now I'm going to take my Craftsmart stain in gray. I also get this from Michaels and I absolutely love it. I get questions about it all the time and that's where I pick it up. I love this because it doesn't have a smell and it doesn't stain your fingers. So I can use this in my home, in my craft room without fuming up the house and making the house smell. And I also get headaches from regular stain. So this is a perfect alternative for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stain all of my pieces, my two baskets, and then all three of my scrap wood pieces. And then to assemble this, I'm going to take some of my clear Gorilla Glue. I'm going to put it at the top where those angles are. And then I'm also going to use some hot glue for that fast hold. I'm going to angle my baskets to the wood so that the top part of the angle from my scrap wood meets with the back part of the basket. And then the front part of the basket will meet with the scrap wood hopefully that makes sense and you can see what i'm doing here now i messed up and i should have added my second basket before adding that second piece of scrap wood uh, so i ended up having to take it off and try the other way <laughs> adding the basket first there just really wasn't a way to glue down that basket with both of those scrap pieces of wood there I tried it just ended up making a mess and it didn't work out so I ended up removing that second piece of scrap wood and adding my basket first just gluing that down I just put them at an angle so that they weren't completely flush straight with the pieces of scrap wood they were more angled down and then I'm going to take some greenery that I have and some florals and I just cut a bunch of pieces off. I believe I got these from Walmart and I want to say Michael's at last year. I love Michael's florals. They're always really, really pretty. So I'm just going to take those and fill my two baskets up with those. And then after I was done with that, I kind of felt like it was missing something and I needed to add a little something extra. So I grabbed these little tags that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I thought these were really, really cute. I just popped off that clothespin and then hot glued those signs down to the front of each basket and that's it for this DIY. I think this turned out so pretty and I'm so excited to add this to my spring decor.
Today's video is in part of a scavenger hunt, which I am so excited about, and it also includes a special giveaway. So our co-hosts, which are the Crafting Cousins, Lini with Crafty Lini and Nadia from DIY with Nadia, are gonna share with you the ways to be able to enter this giveaway and do the little scavenger hunt. So here it is. Today we are excited to be teaming up with seven talented friends for a viewer scavenger hunt. Let us explain how it works. All eight channels will have a DIY video in a playlist with a link to the playlist in our description box below. Watch all eight videos from the playlist and comment on each. Each creator will reveal a secret word somewhere during their video. Collect all eight secret words and email them to us at DIYScavengerHunt at gmail.com. The email will be listed in the description box below. We will randomly draw the winner from those who qualify on Saturday, April 24th, 2021. The winner will be announced on our community tabs. Follow the treasure map through all eight channels and you could win the ultimate treasure of a Cricut Joy and Tool Set. We are sorry, but due to shipping issues, the contest is limited to the continental United States. Good luck, y'all. Next up, I found this greenery that I thought was really, really pretty, especially for spring. And then I also found one of these rings and I thought that I could turn this into a really cute candle ring or any kind of ring that you wanna put some sort of decor in. And this is how I made it. So this ring was $1.99, but I did have a 20% off coupon, which you have to use when you're at Michael's. <laughs> they always have that coupon there. And I'm gonna take that greenery that I got and I'm just gonna start removing pieces off of the big stem. I just use my wire cutters to cut off pieces that I wanted. And then I'm just gonna use some floral wire to attach all of this together. So it was nice because the majority of this had wire throughout it. So it was easy for me to manipulate and turn into that circle. So I just would add a piece of my greenery, use some floral wire to wire it all down, and then I just went in a complete circle. Next, I grabbed some of my solo wood flowers. You guys know how much I love these. These are the minis, which I think are perfect for these kinds of crafts. I absolutely love having the minis in my stash. I will link solo wood flowers down in my description box so that you guys can check them out. And I just grabbed an assortment that I had and I just started picking colors and hot gluing them down where I thought that they would look nice. And I just went around the entire thing. I think this turned out so cute. It actually reminds me of one of those little wreaths that little girls wear in pictures on their heads. I thought that it was so cute. The little wreath headbands, if if you know what I'm talking about. I think that it looks so cute. To add on to any candle or any kind of stand, I just love this one for spring. This moment, can we stay here forever? are new to my channel hey my name's Liz I love everything DIY and crafting if that's something that you enjoy consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button down below and also make sure that you guys have your notification bells turned on so that you guys are notified every time that I upload a new video you can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook where you can stay up to date on my craft kits that I sell over on my website if you didn't know, I make and sell craft kits that are so much fun for you guys to put together and assemble and paint the way that you want them. So I will have that linked down in my description box for you guys to check out. 
And before we get into our next DIY, my secret word is cherry blossom. So the thing that I love about Michaels is you can find pieces like this for really inexpensive. I want to say I paid about a dollar for each of these signs and they came in multiple different sizes. So I'm going to take two of the square ones that I picked up and I'm going to remove the hangers from the back and remove that twine. And then I'm going to grab some of these wooden beads that I picked up from Amazon. I'll have those linked down below. I love adding these beads to my pieces. So I just started adding them to a skewer stick so that I could measure how many beads I was going to need per side. Now, I also think that it's a lot easier to do this with skewer sticks instead of having to individually glue each bead down to your piece. I can just leave it on that skewer stick and glue just a couple of those beads down. So I just start by cutting Cutting off the excess skewer stick and then I'll add some glue to it and push my bead onto it so that all my beads are going to stay in place and I did this for four sets of beads I added a little bit of this craft glue to one of the back sides of my sign. Now I didn't want a ton of glue going everywhere and being able to see it through the beads. So I tried to add as little glue as I possibly could while still making sure that they were stuck to the sign. And in the end, I just ended up using some hot glue on the two beads that were on each end and then hot gluing that down to the sign. And then to make it so that I didn't have to pile glue around the beads to attach the second sign, all I'm gonna do is take a Jenga block and some popsicle sticks and I'm gonna glue them all together to create a height so that my second sign can sit flush on top of it with the beads. I just didn't want a whole bunch of glue all around on the beads and having that glue seep through. So it was easier for me to attach the second sign to these versus to the beads. Hopefully that makes sense and you can see what I'm doing here, but I just made two sets of those. I'm going to hot glue it down to my first sign and then I'm going to hot glue my second sign down right on top of that. I think this is so cute and it's going to make such a cute little piece for you to put your decor on. So I'm just going to paint the entire thing with my Waverly chalk paint in white and I make sure to get all of those beads nice and covered and in all the little grooves there. And then after I am done painting that, I am going to distress it using my Waverly chalk paint in mineral. And I just lightly go over that with that color, trying to make those beads pop out and stand out. And then anywhere that I went a little too heavy handed, I went back in with some white chalk paint. And that is it for this DIY. you sleep you don't know i'm looking with you everything is complete do you know how much i love you i put your favorite song on just to wake you up when i dance around i can't help but feeling just loving So for this last one, I picked up this sign on clearance for a dollar and I decided to give it a heavy dry brush. I wanted it to be white, but I still wanted some of that brown wood peeking through in the background. After I've got that painted, I'm going to take some of this twine that has some wire in it, so wired jute cord <laughs> and that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take three pieces and I'm just going to kind of wrap them together at the top with some painter's tape and then I'm also going to use some painter's tape to hold them down so that I can braid them. So I am going to just do a simple braid all the way down until I get the amount that I need to make a circle and for the size of the circle that I want. Once I have it to the length that I need it, I'm going to wrap the wire together so that it makes a complete circle. And then I will hot glue my twine jute wreath <laughs> down to my sign. And 
And then I just went in with some greenery that I had in my stash. I hot glued those down to the wreath. And then I'm going to go in with some more of my solo wood flowers and hot glue those down as well. And that will be it for this DIY. I think it's so cute and I love the pops of color that these solo wood flowers give this wreath. And I think it will look so pretty on any kind of shelf or tiered tray. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you click that playlist down in my description box so that you can go scavenger hunt through all the other videos to find those secret words so that you can enter to win today's giveaway. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.